Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're back at the Disneyland Resort and today we're actually gonna be going to Disney California Adventure, which is where we're at right now. <laughs> today's Tuesday, which means it's pin release day. So we're gonna go to Julia's Cats and Sons and see if there's any new pins today. So it looks like there are new pins. So there's two of them. They have this Our Transformation Story collection pin. This one's like Emperor's New Groove themed. This one's 1999, and then they have a new beautiful florals pin. It's got Sleeping Beauty on it. This one's also 1999. So today's pins were okay. I think my favorite one was the Emperor's New Groove one, but I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of the beautiful floral pins. This sign just caught my eye. Looks like they have a new dog collar and leash. One's thirty four ninety nine. And they also have a new like dog bowl, portable pet bowl, and it collapses. This one's nineteen ninety nine. I'm sure this would come in handy for sure. And then in case you guys are looking for any of those mugs I showed you guys in yesterday's video, but you guys are stuck at DCA, they have all of them over here too. See, they have that Olaf mug. They have the so Lady and Tramp mug. Peter Pan, Winnie the Pooh up there. They have the Toy Story mug, and they also have the Chippendale stackable mugs right there. So I did a live stream yesterday at World of Disney, and I kept getting asked if I've seen the Stitch graduation plush, and the answer is yes. I've seen it at the Emporium and over here at Julius Cats and Sons. In case you guys are interested, this plush is $24.99. But that's basically everything new that I was able to find on this side of the street. Now we're going to cross the street and head to Five and Dime. Wow, so it looks like everything they have left for the Main Street Electrical Parade merchandise is this. <laughs> they had an entire wall and now they're down to this like little display over here. They only have the Elliot plush and the pet spirit jersey. And I know I've already shown you guys all this merchandise. They have all this. This is part of the Mickey Mouse main attraction. But it looks like they added something new. I haven't seen this before. They now have the key. Limited release. I think this is pretty cool and it's got some weight to it. The box is pretty heavy. This one's $29.99. Here's a look at the ear wall over here at Five and Dime. Looks like they have a lot of the same ears I've already shown you guys. The only ones I think might be new are these, which I'm not a huge fan of. The ears are kind of fluffy, too, kind of plushy. But the, the bow, I don't know, I'm not a fan of it. It's kind of flimsy. But in case you're interested, these are $29.99. So again, yesterday somebody asked me on my live stream if they had this bag at World of Disney. And they, I don't think they do, but they do have it here at Five and Dime. This one's $75. So we just made it to the women's department of Elias & Co. And there's a sweater or a hoodie that I don't remember seeing. Let me go ahead and show you guys. So like they have this Simba like cropped hoodie. I don't remember seeing this one, so I'm gonna say it's probably new. So much it retails for. This one's $49.99. That's cool, on the hood it says Disneyland. Sizes range from an extra small to a 2X. So here's something else I don't remember seeing. The last time I was here, they have some like Disney coach size now with Mickey's on it. I'm not sure how much these cost, but I'm sure they cost a lot. I'd say maybe like $250, maybe more. But that's basically it for all the stores on Buena Vista Street. So here's an update. Look, there's like projections up over here by Hollywood. There's one over here, one across, and then there's two more over there. See, one here one there there's definitely probably an after hours event coming up soon so i don't usually come to the store but we ended up coming to the collector's warehouse and it looks like they have some new mission breakout shirts so they have this kit shirt and i, I think it's really nice i like the colors and i like the embroidery right here this is guardians of the galaxy mission breakout this kit shirt retails for 24.99 looks like the biggest size they go up to for kids is a large and they also have this women's crop shirt this one I'm not a huge fan of. It's a little too colorful. I don't know. I, I like the pink or the purple right here. That's cool. But like that, not a big fan. And this rainbow, not a not a huge fan either. But in case this is your style, this shirt retails for $36.99. I 
And sizes range from an extra small to a, uh, let's see, to a 3X. And then lastly, they have this shirt with Rocket on it. I think the colors are awesome. I just wish the shirt was black. I think that would have made the shirt perfect, but I like how the blue mixes with that off-white color. Still a nice shirt. And nothing on the back. Let's see how much the shirt retails for. It's $36.99. It looks like sizes range from a small to a... Oh wow, they actually have 3X. That's awesome. But that's basically all the new merchandise at the collector's warehouse. So we ended up doing a quick walk through Avengers Campus and of course nothing was really new. They did have the Eye of Agamotto like sipper which everyone's already seen I feel like. And then I did want to see Scarlet Witch but sadly she wasn't around. Now, I'm not really sure how true it is but I heard that Scarlet Witch doesn't come out like after 2 anymore. I heard that she comes out like more so like in the morning to like noon but that's about it. But after 2 she's like you, you won't see her anymore for the day. Which if that is true it's kind of unfortunate. Like I said I went to go look for her right now it's currently like around 3.30 and Nothing. I did see Thor, Loki, and Spider-Man, but that was about it. So this is kind of strange. Over here on one of the stands next to uh, the entrance of Cars Land, uh, they have some Star Wars merchandise, which that's not that weird. I've seen Star Wars merchandise like in Five and Dime and Elias and Co. and all that. But what is weird is I don't think I've ever seen Droid Depot merch before in DCA. Huh. I thought this stuff usually only stayed inside of DCA or like even like Downtown Disney, but I've never seen this in DCA before, so this is the first for me. I love the entrance to Pixar Pier. So we just got into Nick Snacks, and there's not a whole lot new in here, but I did want to show you guys that they have the Turny Red Funko Pops as well. I think this one's $14.99, and they have one left of the Panda. I see why though, because the box is pretty damaged, but... If you guys are like out of box collectors, then this is perfect for you. This one's $29.99. They had these at World of Disney and they sold out like over the weekend. But I saw them on Saturday and then by like, I want to say Monday, they were already gone. So I've been walking around DCA for like 15 minutes now and have found nothing else new. <laughs> it's a pretty slow day. It looks like that massive construction wall is still here in front of the Little Mermaid ride. It looks exactly the same as it did last week. And I don't hear like any construction noises or anything. It's just this random wall up. <laughs> Unless it did work like earlier in the morning, but as of right now, I don't hear anything. So for the past two weeks, every time we've been coming to like DCA, we've been going to the Grand California Hotel because they've been having like some really cool Star Wars treats. And I think there might be some new ones. So I hope you guys aren't tired of the Grand because we're going to be going back. So we're on our way to the Grand when something caught my eye over here at Russian River Outfitters. So let me go ahead and show you guys. Check it out. They have some new Americana merch. I don't remember seeing this in Elias Co. or anywhere else on Buena Vista Street. So I want to say so far this store is probably the first store to have it. They said they have some shirts, shorts, and a sweatshirt. This mini mouse shirt with the bow is pretty cool. This shirt is $36.99. Nothing on the back. And I believe the sizes go from an extra small to, let me see, uh, 3X. And then the Star Spangled shirt with Mickey on it, with a winking Mickey. <laughs> this one's $29.99 and size range from extra small to 2X. Then they have some mini Mickey shorts. This one's, let me see, $36.99. Sizes range from an extra small to a 3X. And they have this sweatshirt. It looks like it's all girl merch still. And then they have this sweatshirt here. With Mickey and stars. It's really soft. It's a nice sweater. So far I'm not seeing like any like shirts or, or shorts or anything for men. I think this is all for women, but it's nice. Uh, $44.99 for this one. And I think the biggest size they go in the sweatshirt is, oh, 3X. And they also have some matching shorts. Shorts retail for $34.99. And the biggest size they go up to is a 3X. So seeing that Americana merch was pretty cool. Uh, well, the first signs of it anyways, because I'm pretty sure there's way more to that collection. 
I'm sure it'll be like a pair of ears and stuff like that. And probably some men's t-shirt. Cause I think that was all for women, but it was still cool. But anyways, we just got to the Grand, and now it's time to hunt for treats. So we're at Craftsman's Grill, and I'm not seeing any Star Wars treats except for one. They have this X-Wing cupcake, and I think we're gonna take this one. It looks really pretty, look at that. Wait a sec, so I was wrong. So over here you check out, they have two of the Grogu donuts left. Do we, do we take it home? Uh, Alright, so in a moment of weakness, I ended up getting the Grogu donut too. Uh, it was just too cool to pass up. Then here's a look at the X-Wing cupcake. So I think the Grogu donut is $7.50 and I think the cupcake is $7, if I'm not mistaken. And then I've also seen that there's a Chewbacca maple donut, which I was really hoping for one of those because I'm a huge fan of like maple donuts, but sadly they're already sold out for the day. But the customer did tell me that they usually like restock every day. So hopefully maybe another day I can come back and get one. But as of right now, they're sold out for the day. But I think I'm going to try these for you and let you guys know what I think. Um, on the receipt, it does say that this is a lemon cupcake. So that's okay. The last one we had was, was a coconut, which I wasn't a big fan of that one. And then I'm not sure what flavor donut Grogu is, but we're gonna find out. Wow, look how pretty that bite is. So many different colors. And I think there's like a strawberry filling or something. So I have no idea what flavor that filling is, but it's good. This whole cupcake is really good. You get like a hint of lemon, which is like, it's like just right. Man, this is good. <laughs> and I just cut into Grogu and he looks like a regular plain donut with like chocolate on it. So yeah, it is just a plain donut. Um, it, it's okay, it's pretty good, but I think the, the cupcake's even better. But now we're heading to the hotel lobby to look for even more Star Wars themed treats. Man, this thing will never get old. <laughs> this is so cool. And now that it's done, they finally have that like sign up. It says Galactic Creation, this show piece depicting the Millennium Falcon arriving and Black Spire Outpost was created by our in-house Disney culinary team. This display of galactic proportion was created using 200 pounds of powdered sugar, <laughs> 32 pounds of crisp rice cereal, 60 pounds marshmallows, 30 pounds butter, 60 pounds white fondant, 65 pounds gray fondant, 30 pounds of egg whites, 35 pounds of white chocolate, 20 pounds of dark chocolate, and one gallon of lemon juice. Wow. <laughs> but anyways, looks like they have a few new things over here on the like candy table or the treat table. They have this i'm not sure if it's grogu or yoda i want to say maybe it's grogu but they have a grogu whoopie pie and then they have a stormtrooper i think it's a rice krispie treat and then they have this star wars cookie that cookie looks awesome and then they have the wookie cookie but it's not it doesn't have like that bandolier thing that uh Chewbacca's always wearing so I was talking to the cast member here working at the stand and she says that the whoopie pie tastes like pineapple and then on the sign it even says it's a tropical whoopie pie and then they also have milk chocolate lollipops which I think we're gonna grab one of those because they're in the shape of the Millennium Falcon how cool is this <laughs> So I ended up only getting the chocolate lollipop because I know my son would love it, so I got it for him. But anyways, we just made our way back to Buena Vista Street. I think I'm in the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.